As fantastic an exercise as the double kettlebell swing is, double kettlebells really come into their own for uh, our squats and presses. If you're going to get the bells into the rack position though, and you can no longer cheat clean, because instead of doing one kettlebell with two hands, now you've got a kettlebell in each hand, you're gonna to need to learn how to clean. A precursor to the double kettlebell clean is the low swing. The low swing is a deliberately short swing. Your back swing is still gonna be the same length. Your top position is still gonna be a hard glute and leg and ab contraction in the presence of your power breath. But you're going to stop the bells here on their upswing. Back swing, upswing, you're gonna keep the upper arm in contact with the rib cage. Close this channel, this gap, between the arms and the rib cage. Why? Well, when we start doing our cleans, if the bells come out in front of us, then we've got to pull them back to get into the rack position. And that's going to be a very hard landing. It's going to be challenging to maintain your balance when the bells go forward and backward into the rack versus when we have that low swing and this is the top position of the swing, we can simply draw the elbows back and let the bells continue to float up until they're in our rack position. So the low swing is a drill to get ready for the clean. It also might be your pre-swing before you do the cleans themselves. In other words, if I'm doing a set of, say, front squats or presses, or if I'm just doing a set of double kettlebell cleans, I might do a low swing or two just to make sure that I have control of the bells before I do my clean. Uh, so the low swing fits in there nicely. It is otherwise the same as your double kettlebell swing. Stance. Grip the floor with the feet, hinge and find your focus. Tip the bells back, but don't freak out about your lats. They're engaged enough to keep the bells, uh, to keep the armpits short. I'm gonna inhale as I hike after I get loaded into my heels. And boy, can you feel those lats and triceps light up as you keep the bells glued into the body. Now, when we transition to the clean from the low swing, we're gonna have to let go of some of that tension in order to draw the elbows back and let the bells float into the top position. But for the purposes of practicing the drill, the low swing, keep the bells tight to the body by keeping your lats engaged, keeping your triceps against the rib cage. Still using the legs, still using the abs as our full swing. Uh, we're just putting the brakes on. That's the low swing. Next up, it's the clean.